This is the homework for lesson 10, module 8 of second grade. Get your name on there, please. And uh, do the shapes below show halves or thirds? Well, it's two equal parts for each of these, right? So two equal parts is halves. If it was three, it would be thirds. If it was four, it would be fourths or quarters. Draw one more line to partition each shape above into fourths. So remember this, that the parts have to be equal. So with a circle, remember my trick that I talk about is like you find the center of the circle. And then all the lines have to go through the center. Well, it, it works for fourths just as well. So, but be careful with fourths because here if I go like this, okay, well it goes to the center, but those aren't all equal to each other. They, can, they don't have to be just equal. That's sure this piece is equal to that piece, but they're not all four of them equal to each other. And that's what we really have to have. So I just want to make sure I mention that. There's the center. And I'm going to try and go horizontally across. That's maybe a little bit low, but that's about as close as I'm going to get it. And now if I go corner to corner, then I go corner to uh, the other corner to corner. And there's fourths. Same thing now with this circle. Now I'm going to go up and straight up and down through the center. As close as I can get it. That looks pretty good. And this one here, let's see, half of that line. And then the other side, I'm going to take half of that. And now I'm just going to connect the dots. And that's about as good as I'm going to get that to look. So there, now they're fourths. It says partition each rectangle into thirds. And then shape shade the thirds as indicated. So here it says shade in two of the thirds. Now you can do this uh, with rectangles. You kind of have to guess for thirds. It's not going to look perfect, but it'll be close. thirds are a little smaller than halves and I'm going to shade in two of those. They don't have to be right next to each other either. Think of like Neapolitan ice cream, right? Because there's like there's the vanilla in the middle and then if I had a brown marker I'd shade the other one brown for chocolate and then, then we'd have strawberry. And you can also do thirds like this. So you're doing opposite sides. Chop up your short sides. They're easier to work with. That's my pro tip. And connect them. And now I've got thirds. I'm going to shade in one of them. And this is going to be, and I'm going to shade in three thirds. So I'm looking at thirds for the short side. Connect the marks. And I'm going to shade all three thirds. This way, and be careful when you shade them in, especially for three thirds, that uh, you can actually see where the lines are that separate the thirds, and that you shaded them in. So just you know, leave yourself a little bit of room, or or shade them in with a different color that's lighter, or use if you're going to use a if you're just using a regular pencil for all, for all of this, then just shade them in lightly because if you make it super dark, you won't be able to tell where the thirds are because it, it's going to look like a hole, which is equal to three thirds. But we want to see the thirds. Partition each circle into fourths and then shade the shapes as indicated. So we've already seen how to do fourths for a circle. Figure out where that center is first and we're going to go vertical and then horizontal. And that's kind of how you try to get them equal. Now these aren't perfect. Obviously this one here is a lot smaller than the others noticeably smaller I should say but that's as close as I can get it and that's one fourth shaded in so here's the center about as close as I can get it and then go one vertical and then one horizontal and I highly recommend using a straight edge because then if you don't your lines won't be straight and it's not going to look right and this is all about making it look right so please it's straight edge I'm using just a uh, a card I got from uh, an appointment I made for my for my dog to get his rabies shot. 
So maybe, maybe you've got a, like just a, somebody's business card, or you can use the edge of an envelope, or you know, there's um, the back of a paperback book. Just something that's straight and a ruler, of course, that's, you know, one that's really popular. If you have enough room to work with a ruler, please use a straight edge. Sometimes you just take a piece of paper and fold it. And then you can use the, the, the edge that uh, is folded it will make a, a decent straight edge that you can use. Four fourths and just like before with the three thirds. Don't shade it in so dark that I can't tell where the lines are that separate the fourths. There. And two fourths shaded in. It's going to go through the center vertically and another one horizontally. All right. And I'm going to shade in two of those. And that's two fourths shaded in. Partition and shade the following shapes. Each rectangle or circle is one whole. So here's now for this one, A, I'm going to make this one into a half. So there's my center. And there, I'll shade in half. One fourth. You can make vertical lines to separate into fourths. I'm going to make, I'm going to go for opposite corners. Here's one of the fourths. Now this is kind of deceptive for these rectangle like this, because if for squares, it's easy because this, they look, when you go corner to corner like that for a square, it makes, it makes, um, all, uh, triangles that look the same. This one has four different triangles and they look very different, but they are all equal. For thirds, I'm going to use my trick here. This is a square, so it doesn't matter what side I work with. Just trying there. One third. There we go. Now the circle is two fourths, so there's about where my center is. That's a vertical, and now the horizontal. And I need two of the fourths. Two halves. So I'm going to say about that one there and about that one there. And then connect them. And here, just don't shade it in so dark that I can't tell where the line is that separates the halves. Two thirds. We can also do this and we're just kind of estimating here where these are to make them thirds. After you draw the lines, you'll really see if you guessed well, that looks like guessed pretty well. That doesn't always come out that way. The more you try it, the better you get at guessing. And I'm going to shade in two of the thirds as long as it's close. I mean, if it doesn't look exactly perfect, try not to, um, trying to spend too much time and effort trying to make it exactly perfect. But if you get it to look that good, then that's fantastic. I mean, that's, I'm pretty happy with that one. Three thirds. So using the short ends. Makes it a little bit easier to work. Oh man, that's not going to work out. Those are just too short to work, too small to work with very easily. So I'm going to try this. That's about a third. That's about a third. And if you're really having a hard time with thirds, I'll give you one more hint for thirds, and that's this. The halves are pretty easy to guess. So think about if that's halves, thirds are a little bit smaller than a half. So what you do is you just make it guess where the half is and then make your first third a little bit a little bit less like right there and then make your second third a little bit more about like there and then you can erase that halfway mark 
and usually it works out pretty well when you use that method now this one like this one down here is a little bit smaller than this piece up here and again for three-thirds don't shade them in so dark that we can't tell where those lines are three-fourths so there's the center and i'm gonna go vertical and horizontal And, oops, I'm sorry. And I'm going to shade in three of these. Now, you can tell these aren't perfect, but they're close enough. One, two, three-fourths. And three halves. Well, how do you have three halves? It takes two halves to make a hole. Well, I have... A hole here and a hole there so I have two holes so here's what happens I'm just gonna make these into halves and I'm gonna go corner to corner for that there and now I'm gonna shade in one half there's two halves shaded in and now there's three halves shaded in that's that's how you do three halves just once you have everything in halves just start counting the halves so you have three Split the pizza below so that Shane, Raul, and John all have an equal share. So that's Shane, Raul, and John. There's three of them. So we need three equal parts. There's the center. And now the way to do equal parts with a circle, here's my pro tip. Start by going down first straight down from the center there and now you're going to make a really wide y so think about here maybe and draw the line into the center and then about there maybe and draw that line into the center and that's about as close as you're going to get it might be if it was a little bit wider it might be better but i think that's I'm not going to really make it any better than that and I'm going to label this too so this is Shane's piece this is Raul's piece and this is John's piece they all have an equal share what fraction of the pizza oh a label which the student's name okay so I'm supposed to do that <laughs> if I had read the question I would have noticed it all right but I did it anyway because I've just had the habit okay now what fraction of the pizza did the boys get in all so it didn't ask like what did each boy get all of the pizza right they they each got a third of the pizza so they all got well john got a third and shane got a third and raul got a third so together that's one two three that's three thirds so it's three I'm going to write it in unit form here because that's all we've been using. You may know how to write it in regular fraction form. Your teacher might have shown you uh, or used it in class or uh, maybe somebody uh, somebody else you know has shown it to you. Uh, but we're not writing that down yet. We don't want to worry about getting confused and mixing up numerators and denominators and what number to put where. So just write three-thirds just like that. 